So apparently, they why do you have to be so tricky? A piece of this piece of that, and then wait for you to finish it, and I give you another piece of something different, something different, something pepper, herb, chocolate, just one at a time, and talk Perfect. about it. But yeah, I took off the band. Grand reason. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Today, we're doing something that I know is gonna be at least minimum okay of a cigar. So, at the same time, I feel like it's gonna be repetitive because how many Oliva do we have to do? You know? Well, this one is the Oliva V Milanio Figurino Edition. Was it Ano or something like that? Can pronounce that, but that's 2023. So apparently they do a weird size every year, and this time they decide to do this one, which is I don't know, is this it that correct? Five and a half by fifty-two perfecto, ish. What did they call it? Double perfecto, figurino, fig fig figurino size. So. They made 14,500 uh, 14, boxes. And let's see if I have. They are $20 each. And this one is provided to me, I believe, Eric. I think. So I'm going to say it's Eric. <laughs> Smoke one if you have one. Um. Rappers, Ecuadorian, Sumatra, and the binder and fillers in Nicaraguan, which is like the same thing. But hey, um, Eric, why didn't you get the Roaring 20 Super Edition? Just one thing. All right, anyway, so let's get a start on this thing. Has no smell. No smell. Not no and no not any particular smell. All right. It's kind of floral, <laughs> a little bit leather, and maybe a little bit earthiness. I'm going to take the 2023 band out because it's very close to the end. I don't really want to deal with it after I lit it up, you know? Well, maybe I can't. You got to be shitting me. I don't know how they made this band, so I'm going to, I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? All right, so these two are kind of connected. What? What are you doing? Oh my god! All right. What the? Do. Why do you have to be so tricky? And this words behind it too. Oh my. Alright, here we go. So this band is apparently over another big band. I thought it was a small band, so uh scan the QR code and listen to Frederick 
V while he unravel or uh, unravels unravels the full story behind the Figueroa shape. No, thank you. I'm kind of busy. So let's take this off. So apparently this was over this covering the QR code. So you know, there you go. Bolano Grand Reserva Limitada. And this one, just a QR code in 23. I don't know if I want to show you the QR code. Get it on. Get it on. All right. Now let's try. Oh, that stressed me out. Woodsy, very, very woodsy. It's just extremely woodsy. <laughs> Leather, very little tingly, maybe cinnamon. There's a little bit of bitterness. Mineral. That's pretty much it. All right, I'm gonna smoke one third. I'll be right back. Let's talk about this thing. I know I can enjoy it, but how far? Be right back. All right, so first third is done. I, I it's, it's gotta have a hard time to describe this, huh? It's woodsy, it has cocoa, Espresso, Earth. It's like a Milano, but more mellow, but cleaner. If that makes any sense, all right. If you ever smoke a Milano, you know the flavor is very like concentrated and together is nice. Uh, it does taste very good. But think of it as someone. Went to the table of Milano pellet, take everything that's in that regular Milano box uh, box uh, price ones, and then he takes all the ingredient in there and just play in it, play in its own individual plates. Right? Once they put it out, they go. All right. So instead of putting mix them together and feed you, feed you a spoonful, and take uh, a, a piece of this piece of that, and then wait for you to finish it and then give you another piece of something different, something different, something pepper, earth, chocolate, just one at a time. Very, very clean, but weaker, right? It's not as strong, but it's very clean. That's what it tastes like. Uh, uh, it's like that, that. It's almost as if they are trying to make you to have an easier time to identify each individual notes that you're having instead of giving it all together for you and you got to figure it out. It's almost like that. It's clean. I can only say it's clean. I think that's that's all I can say. It's weaker. It's definitely <clears throat> not as concentrated together. Uh, like it, it feels separated. But think of it as a Fried rice, Chinese fried rice, like egg fried rice, as a whole, when you get it from, when you get the old, old versions, the regular version. And this one is basically, it gives you all, like, uh, you know, bento box, you open it up, you got scallion, you got rice, you got, you know, egg, all separated, but it's one. So it's slightly different. So there is some difference to it. I, I, I have a hard time explaining it. It is the same yet different. So, um, and it has that Oliva tobacco reminiscing flavor for sure. It's there. So, um, yeah, I'm going to smoke the second third before I, I keep talking through the second third. So I'll be right back. All right. Second third. I, I you know, I am kind of downfounded because it kind of tastes like it, but yet it doesn't kind of taste like it anymore. It, it, it tastes like a Milano, but yet it's not the same as a Milano. Um, it's giving me 
various note that you usually don't like star anise and maybe some citrus to it like it's it's different yet the same uh, i'm kind of confused uh because i was kind of expecting to be the same but it's not um overall it actually gave me a little bit of bread too so i don't know it's because the, all the flavor kind of separated they start to taste one way or another you know the combination floats differently or because this one has some tobacco that is not the same as that it just doesn't taste the same i'm a little bit confused because i'm trying to compare it to my memory of a milanio but this one seems to be more flavorful in terms of how clean you can taste different things but because there's so many different things now it seems like there's different notes in there that it wasn't in the Milanio. Now the problem with that is the strength. At first it was stronger and it seems like progressively weaker in terms of the body and strength. So it's about a medium uh, string cigar, but it because it got weaker, even though you can taste it, it's harder to identify what combination you're getting it's kind of confusing the way i say it so it, it, you know i'm gonna finish the last third and 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 we can i'm gonna sort sort my thoughts a little bit longer because this cigar burns quick and it's very short so i'm trying to do the review and sort my mind sort my, the, my thought about the cigar at the same time i'm kind of confused right now like how to describe it so let me finish the last third and we'll come back and talk about it. But yeah, I took off the band. Grand Reserva Limitada. I think that's the same band as anybody any all of them. But yeah, I need time to sort this out. I I I literally was very confused about it. I told Eric, okay, yeah, yeah, Eric, go smoke one and tell me that I'm not crazy. You know? <laughs> so but yeah, let me smoke the last stir. Be right back. Alright, last stir. That this last third tastes like a Milano, like where it's right now. It finally now everything's together. It's weird because before everything was separate, right? And now everything is together. This last third little bits like the knobbing, and you're tasting a Milano. Yep, it's a good cigar, but I feel like they the way they blend it made it like a like a different journey towards their line of understanding what Milano tastes like. Everything is so separate. Everything is clean. Now it's not really together. Like, you know, one puff I might taste chocolate. The other puff I taste a little bit cherry. The other puff I taste a little bit citrus sweetness. And, and then the other puff I taste a little bit of cedar. And there's one puff where I taste piss. Yeah, don't ask me how I know how piss, t piss tastes like. but. Yeah, it's like it tastes like urine. Um, what the smell of urine, but it goes away. Every puff is different. I was very confused. So, when I say this cigar is great, well, maybe not twenty dollar great, but I will definitely think that this is at least at least a seventeen eighteen dollar cigar. At least seventeen eighteen dollar range. But I don't know if I'll pay twenty dollars for this. Kind of like with the twenty dollars, like yeah, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it enough to cross that team to twenty? Um, but it's close, and I think this will be perfect cigar for anybody who just started out and want to know how to taste notes because it's so separate, it's so clean. You can taste individual, and every puff is different. That I think all the people who are new and try to learn how to taste notes, this will be perfect. Like if you, if I'm a beginner, I bet this is a $20 cigar, but because I'm not, I think it's about 17, 18. But if I'm brand new and like, I just learned how to taste like five different, six different notes just now. So this would be a good cigar for beginners and I, I highly recommend it. So yeah, good cigar. Um, I think a lot of people that smoke a lot of Milanios gotta be like, 
what's so different about this? Like, what did they do to the cigar that, that made it taste this way? It'll be very confusing. So for me, it was very confusing. Like I was looking around for a Milano, right? Like uh, an hour ago, and I couldn't find one. Cause it's like, I was like, maybe I just smoke a regular one to see how it was before. Cause it's screwing around my memory. And I was like, what the hell? So yeah, that was kind of confusing. That was kind of like, uh, what's going on? But nevertheless, it was a good experience. It's a good cigar. Recommend it. If you can find one, go get one. That's a good cigar. Yeah, it's a good cigar. So that's it for this particular review. I hope you like it. If you like, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, share, comment. Uh, if you'd like to support the, the, the reviews, we also have things you can support uh, right in the description. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.